Rain and snow can be tricky to predict and there's nothing worse than being caught without the right gear. Luckily, there's an easy way to tell what's coming. I'm Cleveland.com's meteorologist Kelly Reardon and I'm going to teach you how to read a Doppler radar. With these tips and tricks, you'll be able to easily see bad weather on the horizon. This week on the radar, Radar 101. So here's your basic radar image. When precipitation falls in the atmosphere, whether it's rain, snow, sleet, or hail, the radar picks up the signal by sending out an electromagnetic pulse. The larger the droplet, the larger the signal returned. So light rain will return a much smaller signal than, say, heavy thunderstorms or hail. That's where the colors come in. They're coded by strength. Light rain colors are in the blues and greens. Moderate rainfall will show up as dark greens and yellows. Downpours manifest as red. When thunderstorms are strong enough, towering high into the atmosphere, they can form hail, which returns one of the strongest signals to the radar. This tends to show up as pink or white. So how are you supposed to tell when a storm on the radar is going to hit you? Try and look at the general direction of the storm. Is it moving west, northwest, or north-northwest? Storms will follow the direction of the prevailing winds. As for timing, it's a bit trickier. The radar will complete one full rotation in a matter of minutes. The exact time depends on the radar scanning strategy. If the storms have moved six miles in three radar scans lasting six minutes each, you can estimate the movement around 20 miles per hour. Basically, it all comes down to math, but if the showers are close enough to you, you can sort of estimate with good practice. Another key aspect of a radar is measuring velocity. It's basically speed, but with direction too. Positive if the storm is moving towards the radar, and negative if the storm is moving away. On the radar image, if a segment of a shower is green, that's towards the radar, and away from the radar, shows up as red. The velocity image allows us to see rotation within a storm, which leads to funnel clouds, and if the storm is strong enough, eventually a tornado will touch down, producing what meteorologists call a velocity couplet. Radars can see more than just rain, snow, hail, and so on. They can see all sorts of particles in the atmosphere. Sometimes we can see birds, insects, mayflies, and maybe even a light lake breeze. You can differentiate precipitation from non-precipitation by looking at the hydrometeor classification, which examines the shape of the return signal, easily deciphering between, say, a bird and a water droplet. If you have any questions on Doppler radars, don't hesitate to comment below. Look out for my on-the-radar videos every Tuesday, and don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter.